For problem number five, I wanted to relabel the graphs and make sure everything looked okay. So I went ahead and did that. Now we're going to go and do the problem. So where do when do they meet? At two hours. And what position does that happen? That seems to happen right here at 150 meters when you look at where they cross. And what is the initial position of car A? Car A starts off at 100 meters. Sorry, 100 miles um, along the road. And then we want to continue with this. And it says, what distance did car B travel um, from the two-hour mark to the six-hour mark? So at the six-hour mark, it actually ended up at zero. So the distance is it went from 150 to zero, so 150 miles. By the way, if I asked you for the displacement because it went backwards, that would be negative 150. Um, what's the speed of car B? Let's actually go ahead and get that. So we're going to get zero is its final position, 200 is its beginning. This happens over an eight-hour period. So we're going to get negative 25 miles per hour on the speed of the car. Finally, we want to write a, an equation that describes uh, the motion of A. That's the mathematical model. So um, the y-intercept here, which is the initial position, that's 100. And when we get the slope, the slope ends up being 25. I'll let you calculate that. So when we actually write down the um, position of the car as a function of time, which is what this is, um, we're going to get x equals 25t plus 100. So that, let me just double check. Yes, that is the equation for A. Alrighty, that's number five.